This video introduces Video Llama, which is a multimodal framework that can comprehend both the visual and the auditory content of the video. Grounded on LLMs is proposed. For the first time, it was shown that the model given a video, both visual and auditory signals can faithfully accomplish text guided tasks given by the user. This model consists of two major branches. First is vision language branch and the other one is audio language branch. Vision language branch consists of a frozen visual encoder that maps individual frames into the feature space and a video queue former followed by a linear layer to map the tokens into video soft prompts so that LLMs can generate the following text. Secondly, the audio language branch consists of a frozen image bind audio encoder followed by an audio queue former and linear layer to embed audio features to space of LLM tokens. On your screen, you can see the GitHub repo of this video llama where you can see the code and go through it. Plus there is a very good architectural diagram which you can see um, in this repo. And there is a bit of an introduction of what I just described in more detail. So if you go through this architectural diagram, this gives you a fairly good idea which I just described about the two branches. Training of Video Llama is done separately for each branch. In the first stage, large scale vision caption data sets such as web width 2 million along with image caption data sets such as CC 595K are used for training the model with video to text generation. In the second stage, the model is fine tuned with image instructions following data from various things such as uh, Lava or Mini GPT-4 and even video chat. Surprisingly, training of the audio language branch is also performed with visual text data, which exhibits zero short comprehension property during infant, owing to the power of image bind that shares a common feature space for all the modalities. The resulting model is capable of integrating audio visual signals, grasping common knowledge concepts and capturing temporal dynamics in the videos. So I hope that you liked it. If you have any feedback, please put it down below. Thank you.